Hi, I'm Bill Tyler with De Lavelle Dairy Service. I'm in the maintenance department and I've worked for De Lavelle for five years. So basically in the day of the life, I can either go to the office or go straight to the farm. A lot of the times I go directly to the farm. We every four months go and do a schedule of maintenance. You work on the actual milking system itself and the robot. So there's basically two major systems. When I'm not doing maintenance, I actually talk to the farms with service calls if they actually break down in between the schedule maintenance. You make your own schedule based on what you need to do on a daily basis. Sometimes you get called first thing in the morning, sometimes you get called when you're about to eat dinner. It's just how the how things roll out with the dairy industry I guess. On a day-to-day -day basis I work hand in hand with the farmer to produce quality milk. Without, without me and the farmer working together, we can't make the robots work properly. He brings the cow to the robot essentially, and I make the robot function for the cow. Our positivity on society would be that we're teammates to make quality milk for people. In high school, I took welding and BOCES. I started out welding basically working with my hands. I've always been hands-on. That's where my interests are, is to be physically active. I welded for six years and built actually built onion harvesters. And then I moved back home to work on the family farm as a crop farmer. My cousin actually worked for De Lavelle for three years before I joined on. I was working on the family farm and I decided that with two kids at home and agriculture kind of either getting bigger or smaller and my family farms happen to be getting smaller so I decided I wanted to stay in the ag industry so I moved to De Lavelle and De Lavelle has brought on many opportunities. I started out as a welder, moved into a service technician and now I'm here doing schedule maintenance on robotics. You can go from melting steel together to working on robots. De Laval sends you on training courses for a week, whether it's cleaning school, robotic school, um, pulsation, basic milker, generally two, 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 three times a year. You'll go for one thing or another, and they like, they like you have a broad aspect of the dairy industry. During high school, I would say my math class probably helped me the most just because, you know, you have to figure out, you're dealing with numbers all the time, whether it's chemical ratios and laying out rooms for the robotics or whatever it is. Generally, math, you have to have math. Basic traits that you need to be able to uh, possess. You have to be able to communicate with the farmer. I like to think that all the farms that I work for are on a friend basis because they do call. They call whenever they need something. They call at any time of the day and they're looking for your assistance. So you have to be able to communicate. Communication is key in this industry, I think probably any industry. This is their livelihood. Are there to try and make their lives as easy as it possibly can be. That's the position. With this line of work, you're, the farmers are depending on you to, to be there on time, when you say you're going to do it, do what you say you're going to do, and have the, uh, I guess, work ethic and responsibility. You have to feel like you have responsibility. Generally, as a maintenance technician, you can come into around 50 50 grand a year probably. I mean the big perk is I get to drive the vehicle home every day. The downfall is you have their phone in your pocket and it can ring at any other time but you got good health insurance and 401k. I would say the biggest thing I enjoy about my job is talking, dealing on a day-to-day -day basis with farmers and agriculture. The challenges for my job would be you're basically on point 24 hours a day. You are on call certain certain times of the day, but I have farmers that call me directly just because they deal with me on a day-to-day -day basis, so they want to talk to me, which is fine. One of the major challenges with the job is you can't you can't wait till tomorrow. 
Cows have to be milked every day, three times a day. There's no, there's no wait till tomorrow, oh, I'll get it next week. If a robot in my field is not working, it has to be up and going as soon as possible, which is ASAP within hours. It can't be down for half a day because every, every minute the robot's down is A, the farmer's losing money, and B, the cows aren't getting milk, so which you're not getting milk to your table. Working hand in hand with the farmers, I've realized that their paycheck, their livelihood depends on the robots or cows milking. Another part that's cool with this job is this was a retrofit, not a brand new install. You come walk in and there's nothing but concrete and bare walls. And with De Laval, you put in the vacuum pumps, put in the lights, put in the robot, put in the milk line, put in the milk tank. So you basically see nothing turn into something huge. And now doing this job, you want to keep it nice, you kind of take it under your own wing. You want to see the farmers succeed with what De Laval brought from basically nothing into where we're at today with 24 robots. I think the biggest surprise I've seen from when I started at De Laval till now is the robotic industry has really taken off in the last five years. I guess I never just thought that you could totally be hands off milking cows. Technically, there's 24 robots here milking over a thousand cows and very seldom does a human have to interact with the cow to get the milk out of the cow. Basically, the machines are doing everything. So if I was to talk one-on-one -on -one with my middle school self and high school self, it would basically be always stay open-minded and always be willing to work. Because the work ethic, I feel personally, is the one thing that will drive you to success is your own personal motivation whether it's education or physical hands-on work it's basically just constantly learn constantly be open-minded you're going to learn something every day